Okay, I'm, uh, I'm back for a quick update and uh, I think I mentioned in my last part, which was part 6, so this will, this will be part 7, it's my Magneto Rewind. Uh, I think I've told you in, in many, many of my parts that I'm not an expert at this, I'm just, I'm just learning. So any professionals out there might think I'm making a, a, bit, a bit of a fuss over nothing here, but... You know, it's an experience and it's something I wanted to try, so uh, I thought I'd document it and it might help somebody. Um, so where I'm up to, uh, I think when you last saw me, I was still in my Myford lathe and, and I'd uh, just finished my 11,000 11, turns of my secondary winding out that, with that very thin wire. So... That's still in my lathe at the moment, and I, I left you last time, I think I said I was going to make a vacuum chamber, which which is what I've been doing for the last couple of days on and off. And I thought I'd just share this this bit with you, then uh, anybody that's interested can, can see what I've done and it might help, it might help you. So, I've done my vacuum chamber now, and I've basically... It's a similar setup to what Mr. Bruffnut had on his website. And he's got a website that's freely available, and I keep mentioning him because it is a, it is a good read-up if, if you're interested in doing this. It's not a video, it's just a, a write-up with pictures on. But it's interesting. And he's got a setup very similar to what I've done with this. So the only difference is, instead of me using a plastic tube... And, um, to be honest, I can't remember what, what sort of joints he did use. They were just push-on connectors for tubing to fit on. Now, what I've used is caravan water pump connectors, just snap-on connectors. And all I've got is a non-return valve here, and a non-return valve there, and a vacuum gauge, and an adapter to fit through jam jar with a nut and an o-ring on to fill it, if you can see that. That's all it is. You just want to make sure the jam jar is big enough to get your armature in. So, the only difference between me and Bruffnut's experiment with doing this is he used Schrader valves from a push bike or a car. And he used a lot of thinner tubing and he put his Schrader valves in tubing like I've got my valves here. So that's the only difference. Now, I'll just show you this in action. Sorry, I've just caught camera there. I'll just show you this in action. You put your syringe on and uh, a couple of pulls on that and it starts your vacuum. Now, I can pull this for a bit longer, but I'm not going to. And I can manage to get a vacuum about halfway which is 50% vacuum. Now Mr. Bruffnut, with his system, says he can get a 95% vacuum using one of these. Now whether it's because I've got my Schrader, not, not using Schrader valves, I don't know. I'm just using water non-return valves off a caravan. Whether it's to do with that, I don't know. So. I've aborted this after trying, so then I tried a foot pump for a push bike, just a, an, an ordinary stand up pump, and what I did, I took top off, reversed the uh, seal at the bottom, so instead of it pushing air, it's sucking air, and I tried that, and I got no better results with this than I did with syringe. So, I aborted that idea, then I, I thought about my air compressor on my, uh, my portable air compressor, which I'll just show you. It's just a standard portable air compressor. Now, I've adapted this to be work now as a vacuum pump, and I, I'm not going to go into detail of how I've done it, because there's plenty of YouTube videos to show you that, but all I'll say this is, be careful which, vid uh, which videos you choose, because... Some of them, they show you how to do it and they end up destroying 
the compressor part to be used as a foot pump it ends up being a sole vacuum pump so I've put a couple of ideas together and I've added a couple of ideas from somebody else off YouTube to adapt this to be dual purpose without destroying it and what you have to do, I'll quickly explain I don't want to go on too much take your four screws out to get to your workings and then where your, where your cylinder is there's a cylinder head with a little hole in the top for exhausting well not for exhausting, for pulling air in this is the exhaust what's going to your tyres you just I've just made a little adapter to fit around that hole and I've epoxy resined it in for me more mechanical strength and then I've took a clear plastic tube up through the centre made a neat hole in the case and then I just put this adapter in to join onto my tube for me for my vacuum chamber so this can come out then and be stored away uh, and use as a normal pump then so it's dual purpose without destroying it so I'll just show you this in action now and this this piping I've got on me chamber here it's a bit rigid and everything keeps dropping over so just bear with me I'll just push this pipe onto here now this is a bit noisy so I'll just give it a quick run for you and show you the difference I'm getting with results oh and by the way if you're going to use this you don't need two non-return valves in you only need the one on this side because all that non-return valve is doing is letting you you shrink to be able to breathe so here we go then I'll try this compressor now right that's enough of that noise I've got up to 26 at the moment now if I leave it running a, a while longer I can, I can get between 27 and 28 on gauge and that gauge goes up to 30 so I'm not far off a full vacuum probably 95% maybe more now Mr Bruffnut on his site says he, he can get that vacuum using this syringe I've not been able to but like I said, whether it's because I'm not using these Schrader valves, maybe that's the reason. Uh, so I'll be using this mini portable compressor. Now if you've not got one of these, and you don't want to go to expense of buying one, even though they're probably not that dear, what you could do if you've got a, a standard garage compressor, take your air filter off your compressor, and you'll find it's got a, a one, well on mine, it's got a half inch BSP thread. It's not actually half inch BSP, it's half inch NTP, but a, a, an half inch BSP will fit. Uh, just get a, an half inch BSP adapter to screw into your compressor where your air filter goes, and get an adapter that's that can take your pipe work where it come where it comes off and then just use your compressor for your garage but I've tried it and it make it makes no more vacuum than this it, it does exactly the same vacuum as this will do and that's a two horsepower compressor I've got so uh, there's an idea for you if you've not got one of these and uh, I think that's everything now I don't want to make it too long and keep going on I don't want to get boring but I thought anybody that were interested might like to might like to just see what I'm doing. So where I'm up to, I've got my vacuum chamber made now. I've got a 95% plus vacuum I'm getting. I shall be doing it next few days, I don't know when. I'll take my coil out and get my um, transition wire soldered on and everything, get it prepared for, for impregnating it with either 
varnish um, or that two epoxy resin two pack epoxy resin sorry and I ain't decided which I'm going to use yet so I'll update you uh, as and when I get to that stage and let you know where I'm up to thanks for watching anyway